Hello everyone, welcome to Ace Preparation League. In this session, we are going to discuss an interesting air standard cycle called dual cycle. See, this dual cycle is also called limited pressure cycle or mixed cycle. There are two other names for this particular cycle that is limited pressure cycle or mixed cycle. See, when it comes to this dual cycle, there are five different processes that we come across. Out of these five processes, two are isentropic process or reversible adiabatic process. Two are isochoric process or reversible constant volume process and one is isobaric process or reversible constant pressure process. So, let us see the process description here. Process 1 to 2 in this particular cycle is isentropic compression. So, it obeys PV power gamma equal to constant. Then process 2 to 3 is constant volume heat addition and process 3 to 4 is constant pressure heat addition. Process 4 to 5 isentropic expansion and process 5 to 1 is constant volume heat rejection. So, in this particular cycle, heat addition is taking place at two different process. One is during constant volume process, the other one is during constant pressure process. And heat rejection takes place only in one process that is constant volume process here. Let us see the PV and TS diagrams to understand better about this cycle. Here, process 1 to 2 is isentropic compression, volume decreases and pressure increases during compression and temperature increases with increase in the pressure here and entropy is remaining constant. Then process 2 to 3 is constant volume process and here heat addition takes place during that particular process. As a result of that, you can observe that there is a rise in temperature and entropy also increases due to heat addition. Here, 2 to 3 is represented as a vertical line pointing upwards because it is constant volume process. Then 3 to 4 is constant pressure process where heat addition is taking place here. So, as a result of that, the maximum temperature is attained during this particular process that is T4 here and the maximum pressure of the cycle will be P3 is equal to P4 here. Then process 4 to 5 is isentropic expansion. During expansion, the volume increases and the pressure decreases and there will be a decrease in temperature with a decrease in the pressure. Then process 5 to 1 is constant volume heat rejection here. So, these are the 5 processes that we come across here. When it comes to the ratios, there will be 4 different ratios here. One is compression ratio. The second one is cutoff ratio, third one is pressure or explosion ratio. So, here we will come across a new thing called pressure or explosion ratio and expansion ratio. These are the four ratios. Let us see these four ratios now so that we can find out the thermal efficiency formula by using these ratios. First ratio is compression ratio. It is denoted by R suffix C, which is volume at the beginning of compression by volume at the end of compression. So, V1 by V2 is the compression ratio here. Then, cutoff ratio. Cutoff ratio is denoted by rho. This is volume at the end of heat addition by volume at the beginning of heat addition. So, if you observe the diagram clearly, heat addition ends at point 4 and starts at point 2. So, therefore, we can write it as V4 by V2. So, V4 by V2, but V2 is equal to V3 constant volume heat addition here. So, therefore, we can write V4 by V3 also for cutoff ratio. Now we have the pressure or 
explosion ratio this is denoted by beta which is equal to the maximum pressure of the cycle p3 or p4 by pressure after compression which is p2 here so p3 by p2 or p4 by p2 is the pressure or explosion ratio now let us see the expansion ratio expansion ratio R e this is volume at the end of expansion. So, 4 to 5 is expansion process, volume at the end of expansion is V5 by volume at the beginning of expansion is V4. So, V5 by V4 we need to consider here. But process 5 to 1 is constant volume process. So, therefore, we will take it as V1 by V4. Now, let us multiply and divide by V2 such that we get like this V1 by V2 into V2 by V4. V1 by V2 is nothing but the compression ratio and V2 by V4, V2 by V4 is 1 by rho. So, we can write expansion ratio as compression ratio by cutoff ratio. So, this is one important formula which you need to remember. Now, let us find heat supplied, heat rejected here. So, heat supplied will be during two different process, one is 2 to 3 and the other one is during 3 to 4. Process 2 to 3 is constant volume process. So, we take MCV T3 minus T2 and process 3 to 4 is constant pressure process. So, we write MCP T4 minus T3. Then, heat rejected. So, heat rejected is during process 5 to 1. So, this is constant volume process. So, we write MCV T5 minus T1. So, this is heat rejection. Now, work done is heat supplied minus heat rejected. and efficiency, the thermal efficiency or air standard efficiency is work done by heat supplied. We can write it as heat supplied minus heat rejected by heat supplied or 1 minus heat rejected by heat supplied. So, this becomes 1 minus heat rejected is MCV T5 minus T1 by heat supplied is MCV T3 minus T2 plus MCP T4 minus T3. See, mass gets cancelled in the numerator as well as in the denominator if we take mass common in the denominator. Then let us take Cv to the denominator. Then this becomes 1 minus T5 minus T1 by T3 minus T2 plus Cp by Cv into T4 minus T3. Here Cp by Cv is gamma which is the adiabatic index. So, therefore, the thermal efficiency in terms of temperatures will be 1 minus T5 minus T1 by T3 minus T2 
प्लस गामा इंटू टी फोर माइनस टी थ्री नाउ वी गॉट द थर्मल एफिशियंसी इन टर्म्स ऑफ टेम्परेचर्स सो लेट एस गेट दिस थर्मल एफिशियंसी इन टर्म्स ऑफ द रेशियोज दैट वी हैव लर्न फॉर दैट वी नीड टू गेट ऑल द टेम्परेचर्स T2, T3, T4 थ्री टी फोर एंड टी फाइव इन टर्म्स ऑफ टी वन फॉर दैट लेट एस टेक ईच प्रोसेस एंड यूज द प्रेजर वॉल्यूम टेम्परेचर रिलेशन टू गेट दैट लेट एस टेक प्रोसेस वन टू टू फर्स्ट प्रोसेस वन टू टू दिस इज आइसेंट्रोपिक कंप्रेशन सो पी वी पावर गामा इक्वल टू कॉन्स्टेंट ना फ्रॉम दिस टी टू बाई टी वन is equal to v1 by v2 whole to the power gamma minus 1 v1 by v2 is nothing but the compression ratio rc so from this we can simply write t2 is equal to t1 into rc power gamma minus 1 then process 2 2 3 process 2 2 3 is constant volume process so temperature is directly proportional to pressure p3 by p2 is nothing but beta which is the explosion ratio so from this we can write t3 is equal to t2 into beta which can be written as t1 into आर सी पावर गामा माइनस वन इंटू बीटा टी थ्री वी गोट नाउ लेट एस गो फॉर प्रोसेस थ्री टू फोर प्रोसेस थ्री टू फोर इज कॉन्स्टेंट प्रेजर प्रोसेस सो टेम्परेचर इज डायरेक्टली प्रपोर्शनल टू वॉल्यूम so that implies t4 by t3 is equal to v4 by v3 v4 by v3 is nothing but rho the cut off ratio so from this we can write t4 is equal to t3 into rho which is equal to t1 rc power gamma minus 1 into beta multiplied by rho so t4 we got like this then let us take process 4 to 5 process 4 to 5 is isentropic expansion so pv power gamma equal to constant so from this t5 by t4 is equal to v4 by v5 whole to the power gamma minus 1 v4 by v5 v4 by v5 can be written as rho by rc so substituting this rho by rc there we get t5 is equal to t4 into rho power gamma minus 1 by rc power gamma minus 1 instead of this t4 let us substitute t1 rc power gamma minus 1 into beta into rho so therefore t5 is equal to t1 rc power gamma minus 1 into beta into rho into rho power gamma minus 1 by rc power gamma minus 1 so these two will get cancelled we can write this as T1 into beta into rho power 1 plus gamma minus 1. So these two will get cancelled, and finally we get T5 is equal to T1 into beta into rho power gamma. Now we got all the temperatures in terms of T1 and the ratios. Substituting these in the efficiency formula. the thermal efficiency will be 
1 minus instead of t5 we will write t1 into beta into rho power gamma minus t1 this is the numerator part divided by denominator here t3 minus t2 so t3 is t1 into rc power gamma minus 1 into here t3 we got t1 rc power gamma minus 1 into beta minus t2 is t1 rc power gamma minus 1 plus here we have gamma into t4 minus t3 t4 is t1 rc power gamma minus 1 into beta into rho minus t1 rc power gamma minus 1 into beta this is t3 now in the numerator let us take t1 common so this becomes 1 minus t1 into beta into rho power gamma minus 1 by in the denominator if you observe these four terms carefully t1 rc power gamma minus 1 is common then here we will have beta minus 1 plus gamma is there and if you observe these two terms beta is common if i take it outside we will get the relation like this t1 t1 gets cancelled now let us rearrange this expression and write the thermal efficiency or air standard efficiency formula 1 minus 1 by rc power gamma minus 1 into beta into rho power gamma minus 1 by beta minus 1 plus gamma beta into rho minus 1. So, this is the final formula that we are going to get here. For more videos like this, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. To listen to more interesting concepts from our expert faculty members, download AS online app. The link will be available in the description box below. Thank you.